on this particular drill here, it's just obviously the header and healer coming out of the box. And because of using our sled, we can go slow. A lot of people don't realize what speeds are, but like a horse trots at about up to seven miles an hour. So we're going about seven miles an hour. I wanted to just basically show you guys, let's, let's work on executing the perfect run, like riding your head horse to the spot, dallying, staying there, and then practicing going out of there just at seven miles an hour. You can do that on our sled. Healing wise, can't go that slow on our extreme because you can't swing your, your rope that slow because of the timing. So it's great for beginners and green horses to go extra slow on this particular drill. So I would use your, your actual Smarty sled on this drill and just go nice and slow, build your confidence up, build your horse's confidence up, seven, eight miles an hour, nine miles an hour. And then when you feel that you wanna be challenged, then go ahead and, and hook your extreme up. Because of the extreme being at about nine, 10 miles an hour, that's about the time your horse will start into a lope. Fortunately, with the extreme, I made the, the legs to where they match the speed of your horse. So my horse is stride at, at eight miles an hour all the way to 16 miles an hour matches the stride of the extreme. So that just makes it so nice because that's exactly the way it is with the live steer. What I want to point out here is I just want everybody to have a little bit of creativity, right? Like if you're struggling with your, your horse going to the right or you catching steers that go off to the right, then just think about it. Go take about five runs and have your four-wheeler driver go off to the right and you could do it at different speeds. Make it easy at first, maybe eight miles an hour, and just go off to that right fence. It also allows the healer to use his left leg and keep his pocket and his spacing all the way to the left to the right fence. Then you can take one and have it go off to the left, which th that allows you to use your right leg and open your left leg up and push your horse over, or you can go straight. And then I, I really encourage you guys to challenge yourself at different speeds. If you don't rope a slow steer very good, like that loper, I hear that said so much. Well, I just. I, I soft arm the loper, I, I overrun the loper. We'll practice roping five steers at eight miles an hour, then at nine, then at 10, all the way up to 16. But I will caution you, when you get to that speed to where it's starting, you feel like you're, the wheels are falling off of your roping and your horse getting a little bit hot or losing it a little bit, then slow down, just back it up a little bit. If 13 is your speed, to where you're kind of losing it a little bit, you and the horse, back off to a 12 and work on that, 11 and 12, and then inch your way up to 13 and 14. But it's kind of insane just to rope it at seven miles an hour and then rope it at 16 miles an hour. It's just too much difference. It's like getting on a bunny hill snow skiing and then going straight down the mountain on the, bog on the moguls. It's like you work your way up step by step in a basketball program, that's the way it is. A football program, that's the way it is. And that's the way it should be with our roping program. You start slow and perfect everything. You run at a inch by inch, speed by speed, just seven, eight, nine, ten. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't even know how fast most steers run. A horse normally will break into a, a, a slow lope at eight miles an hour. So it's really important to kind of slow down and work, kind of see what your horse can handle. So what we try to do here at our Smarty Training Facility in Millsap, we definitely try to do the whole run. Like Tyler will normally ride a horse and rope, dally, follow, try to execute the perfect handle while I'm coming in and healing and then he'll even go ahead and face his horse. Like you should practice the entire run every time. Going at this speed right here, you can consciously see everything really good. Like on that particular shot, I stopped my horse because he's getting a little bit amped up and trying to pull into my left hand. 
and I want them to be sensitive to my left hand. So once in a while I might stop my horse and just not let him come in there so that he'll respect me and I keep complete control over him. Note right here that my horse is in time with the extreme and I'm in time with my horse. That's what makes everything in sync. Me, my horse's stride, and the extreme. We're trying to give you a lot of different camera shots so that you can formulate in your, your mental picture of what's going on with these drills. I think <clears throat> good camera shots have everything to do with the way you perceive a run. I highly encourage you guys to video your runs when you're practicing. Everything about what we're doing is trying to encourage you to develop your own practice program. This is what we call our Smarty Training Program. I do it at every clinic, every school, everywhere I go, here at the house. Most people don't even have a practice program. And how do you expect to go to the next level if you don't develop a practice program at home?